Hey guys, the objective of this video is now to find the UDL along grid line 2 for G plus Psi EQ. Now this Psi E term is 0.3. You just get that from AS 1170.0. So 1170.0. If you come to table 4.1, we're looking at floors and we're looking at an office. Okay, And if you come across, you get a value of 0.3. So this is from AS 1170.0, table 4.1. We're looking at an office. So coming across for Psi E, I'll just zoom in for you. So Psi E for an office is this one over here. So 0.3. So that's where I get that 0.3 from. So now we're going to be doing the load case 0.3Q plus 0.3, sorry, G plus 0.3Q. So it's the exact same process as the 1.2G plus 1.5Q, except the load combination has changed. So for the floor loading, the G is 7.75. We saw that in the previous video. So that's unchanged. The G is still this over here, which is 7.75. And the Q is still 5 kPa. The only thing that's changed is the combination of that loading. So now it's G plus 0.3 Q. So 7.75 plus 0.3 outside of 5. So 7.75 plus 0.3 outside of 5 gives us 9.25. So 9.25 kPa. Now back to grid line two, it's the exact same situation, the exact same setup for, um, for, for this case compared to the other case. So it's the exact, exactly the same. The only thing that's changed is that floor loading is now 9.25 kPa. So looking at shape one first, this triangle over here. So I've just redrawn it over there. We want to be finding the equivalent rectangular load. So we use the formula two thirds W max. So the new area load is 9.25.